Building anything with Lego blocks is so much fun. Whether you're a child or an adult, Legos allow the imagination just run wild. And this Friday, you and your family can take part in the Think Outside the Blocks Day at the Elizabeth and Rec Center. Here to get us ready for this fun family event is Kelly Kitchens. And you have, you brought a very special guest I with did. you. I did. Guest Lego, of the Lego hour. Man is here. Yes, yes. <laughs> he will be joining us Friday as well. Um, yeah, this is an event that we love to do. This is our fifth year now presenting right. this event. Um, and we do it just to celebrate National Lego Day, which takes place this weekend. You know, I, for, for a lot of people, uh, Legos are some of the first toys that you can remember yes. playing with. Yeah. And it's just a sense of nostalgia for a lot of folks. It is. And I have, you know, I've got grown children. I've got daughters in their 20s. I have an 11-year-old little boy at home. Um, and it's something that they really bond over. You know, they the different sets, you know, geared towards the ages. My girls tend to build the more um, intricate elaborate sets my boy has loved Legos his whole life and you know still builds a, a new set at least monthly this fifth time you're doing this what led you all to initially say that we need to do something for Lego Day? you know we just had a lot of people ask you know you hear a lot of these festivals that go on around the area that kind of center around Lego and the fun of that and you know as we saw that interest in the community it was definitely something that we wanted to be able to offer our kids in Elizabethan who you know maybe don't get to go to these bigger cities and kind of partake in this stuff and so we just decided you know what let's try it let's see how many people come out and it was something that they really had fun doing they were around other Lego enthusiasts they kind of talked about you know tips and tricks we would have people who you know maybe wanted to work on specific projects or wanted to learn how to do something specifically. Um, and so we give that opportunity just to go out, free build, make some new friends, come with your family, all ages, completely free of charge. Um, and then also throughout the evening, we do um, contests mm -hmm. where prizes are awarded to the best. So, you know, it may be like, hey, you've got five minutes, build us a mythical creature. And then we have people judge, you know, each of the builds and see who's the best. And then that person is awarded. Now, do you all provide all the Legos or do people bring their own Lego sets? How does that work? Yeah, so we do provide the, own, the our, all of the Legos to build. Mm -hmm. If you want to bring your own set, you absolutely can. Um, you know, of course, just stay with it if you want to bring it along with you. You don't want them to get mixed into all the <laughs> other bricks that are going to be there. They tend to go everywhere. Yes. Um, but we do. We've got a ton of Legos that we just put out along with some tables and chairs. Fire Pizza is joining us Friday night nice. at the Recreation Center. So that way, if you want to pick up some dinner while you're there mm -hmm. and just keep building, it's easy easy, it's accessible, um, and just a great time to spend a winter evening. And you know, we said about so many events that happen around here, but this one truly is a family event. You want the entire family, yes. from everybody from the babies to the grandpas and exactly. the grandmas to come and, and, and get together and build something. Just just, yeah. let, just have some fun. Absolutely, and we do. We put out the Duplo blocks out there for the younger kids. We actually even have some great big foam um, bricks that we put oh. out there as well that the kids can kind of play with too if they're too small, you know, to play with the regular Lego build. So, we, you know, we really encourage everyone if it, if you are a family group, if you have children, if you are an adult who wants to come out and build, if you're a teenager, and we really do see all age groups because again, this is just really something that people tend to really bond over. Right. And you know, I think we all have had that point in our life where we stepped on a Lego block. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know that hurts. He, I hurts he Lego takes man. That, yes, he it, takes that know, very Stepping personally. on a cousin or something there. <laughs> but it, you know, that's one aspect of it that we always think about. But for a lot of folks, and I even know a couple of doctors personally. Yes. That love to, that's what they do in their off time is build these elaborate sets, especially yes. like Lord of the Rings or Star Wars or yes. something along those natures. Yeah. And it really is, you know, the ultimate 3D puzzle, yes. you know, so I mean, it's something that you really get to just immerse yourself in, you know, that does take for some of those bigger sets a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my daughter, she has several sets that she displays in her home. Um, you know, a lot of the flower bouquets that right. they're doing now, she's got all of this stuff. So it really is something that doesn't, you never really age out of that. No, you don't. You really don't. And you know, I know a lot of folks, uh, teachers especially, will have Legos in their classrooms for yeah. the younger children. It teaches spatial reasoning. Yeah. It teaches mathematics. I mean, and geometry. There's, it's, it's an educational side of this thing, too. Absolutely. And so, you know, for us, there was really no better co-host for us than to have you know, this event to be co-hosted with the Elizabeth and Carter County Public Library. And so they are partners on this event with us. And it really does just 
center on that creativity. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, even Lego itself now has all of these sets where it's the creator sets. And right. so you have this choice of, hey, you could build one of these three things or just the boxes themselves to say, build right. whatever it is that you'd like to build. Just let your imagination go. Exactly, and all that's right. something really that we love to focus on, you know, on the recreation side of things, mm -hmm. something that works in really well, of course, with the library side of things. And so just a great way for all of us to get together and just enjoy the night. All right, Kelly. Lego man, thank you for being here. As always, he doesn't talk much, but when he Not does, much. we listen. <laughs> hey, it's Lego man, and they're gonna he's gonna be there as part of the Think Outside the Blocks Day event that's coming up this Friday, January 26th. It's gonna be going on from 6 to 8 p.m. They would love for you to just grab up the entire family and hover, ho head over to the Elizabeth.